Hello everyone and welcome to Enjoy SharePoint. I am Bhavna. So in this the tutorial, we are going to learn or explore how to connect to specific file from SharePoint list in Power BI. So this is the scenario where I have a couple of uh, uh, files inside uh, one list or any document library. Uh, so I just want to connect to a single file uh, where I am interested to get my data. Uh, and I want to process my data into Power BI. So uh, in, in our previous video, we learned how to connect to um, SharePoint folder in order to get the data. But now today specifically, we will connect to a single file from SharePoint. So this is the structure where I have a demo site inside shared documents. I have a couple of uh, Excel files or Notepad file. So I am interested to connect to only interest rate three, this particular file. I just want to connect. So for that, uh, we will open the Power BI desktop and uh, now we will use get data web. So you might be wondering uh, why not uh, uh, why we are not choosing any data source uh, related to SharePoint, which I will uh, tell you the reason. Uh, so for that, first of all, we need to go to our uh, SharePoint site and we will just open this file. We'll click inside SharePoint. Okay, so now what we will do, we will open this file into the desktop app. So now we will click here. It will prompt us whether you want to open this application, open Excel. It will take a moment. Okay, so now I have my file interest rate uh, 3 and uh, uh, this file is open uh, in the Excel file, the desktop version of Excel. So now what we will do under this info, we have the shared document and now we will right click and we will copy this part to the clipboard. So this is the path which we have retrieved so far. So you are seeing here what it says. It, it contains the site, uh, root site address along with that the uh, folder in which this file reside and the name of the file. Okay, so we just need to discard something from the URL which is till from this question mark to web. We do not want this particular uh, uh, thing from our uh, address so we will remove and now we'll copy this path again now we'll go to our power bi so now what we will do uh, we'll click here get data and we'll use web and the reason uh, we are using this uh, particular data source instead of any sharepoint related data source because if you look at uh, the existing data source for sharepoint or to connect to the sharepoint site Okay. So if you look at, we don't have any uh, way to, you know, connect to a specific file, but we have to, uh, you know, we can connect using SharePoint folder, data source, SharePoint online list or a simple list. So we do not have a provision to connect a specific files for that purpose. Uh, we can use this web data source. So here what we will do, we will simply paste the URL which we have copied. Okay. And we already discarded this address. So now we'll click OK. So here we have prompted this access web content since it's a web address of SharePoint. So uh, this particular data source is trying to connect Sanjay SharePoint 
uh, this demo sites for that it uh, asks us to authenticate because we do not have access so far so we here we have uh, these many option anonymous windows basic web vpn organization account so we have to choose organization account most of the times you will find here microsoft account uh, but now we are getting this option so what we will do here we can see you are in sign in so simply we will sign in and it will open another window where it will ask us to give the, our credentials so okay so we are currently signed in when uh, we will simply click on connect okay so here under sheet 3 So this was our file which we wanted to connect a specific file so here uh, if you are okay with the data you can simply hit load otherwise you can you know click on edit to edit your data in query editor uh, so in our case we will simply click on load So here we got our uh, sheet 3 along with the data uh, you can give some meaningful name to this particular uh, sheet if you wish to and then you can use this uh, data for your uh, uh, organization uh, purpose wherever you want to use this data uh, so in this tutorial we learned how we can connect a specific file which is on SharePoint uh, using Power BI. So I hope you found this video to be very helpful. Please like, subscribe and share uh, this video and this channel. You will find a lot of uh, beautiful and knowledgeable uh, tutorials uh, related to Microsoft technology. Have a nice day and thank you so much.